Hi guys, this is Amber. I just wanted to show you guys my version of the homemade ma baked macaroni and cheese. This is my recipe I have never shared with anybody. I'm going to share it with the world. If you make this, you will not regret it. You will love it. But if you make it, I want to know how it turned out. If you loved it, give me a thumbs up. I want all the comments. I want to know how it turned out for you. I'm going to give you guys some tips and I'm going to show you my recipe. So you can use any, this is, um, let me do this so you guys can take a picture of it if you have to, like this. I always take pictures of videos if I, if I certain parts or whatever. But yeah, um, you can use any type of noodles. Elbow noodles for me seems to work best. You can double the recipe if you want. This is for 16 ounces. Um, that's several, that's seven tablespoons of unsalted butter. I mean, you can use salted. I've used both, but with the salted, it seems to float on the top and not like go down and soak into the noodles like I like better, but it does taste the same. If you don't have unsalted, you can use the salted. Two cups of whole milk, two cups of heavy whipping cream, two cups of sharp cheddar cheese, three cups of gyro salt, and for the um, seasoning I use, I use salt, pepper, ground powdered mustard, seasoned salt and smoked paprika i also use when i use the panko crumbs i use italian you could use regular if you want doesn't matter i mean there is seasonings in there um but here's the instructions pre oven at 350 lightly grease a large three to four quart baking dish or whatever you have in hand whatever you usually make for your baked macaroni and cheese use that i actually the last time i made it i used a rice pan you know those round um, aluminum rice pans I used that and it worked perfect it was like the best pan to use for it the only thing is you can't use the lid on it because the handle of it is like plastic so I had to put aluminum foil over it but it was really good it worked out really good um so that's what I did with that I'm trying to so you guys can see it and then set aside combine with combine all the cheeses in a large bowl and set aside until later to cook the pasta, cook it one minute shy of al dente, sometimes two minutes, I cook it two minutes shy. Remove from heat, drain and place pasta in a large bowl and drizzle with the olive oil. The olive oil is, um, the, so it doesn't stick, you know. And then you are going to set that aside. You're going to melt butter in a deep saucepan or a pan of your choice. Whisk the flour over medium heat and continue whisking for about one minute until bubbly or golden brown gradually mix in the milk and the heavy cream until sorry my camera keeps going blurry until it is creamy continue whisking until you see bubbles on the surface and then continue whisking for another two minutes you add some salt and pepper as much as you would like i'm gonna do this so you guys can take a picture of this too there so add two cups of shredded cheese and whisk until smooth add another two cups of and whisk repeat add another two cups whisk and repeat until it's all creamy the sauce should be super thick don't worry that's how it's supposed to be you're going to save one cup for the top sometimes you can add two cups if you have it i i believe me i like a lot of cheese so my stuff is cheesy and then um you're going to add your cheese sauce to the noodles and you're going to fully until it's fully coated um you're going to pour the macaroni and cheese into the baking dish you want to put it in and then you're going to add the one remaining cup of shredded cheese to the top of the baked macaroni and cheese that is not baked yet <laughs> in a bowl of your choice you're going to combine the italian panko crumbs parmesan cheese melted butter and paprika more paprika salt and pepper if you'd like again sprinkle over the top evenly and you're gonna bake until golden brown for about 40 minutes so you're gonna bake it at 350 covered with aluminum foil uh, the last 10 or 15 minutes you're gonna take the cover on off and you're gonna increase the heat to 425 that's that's what makes the topping so crispy so golden it was good the last time I made this recipe for my husband and my family it was a hit 
they wanted they ate it every day for three days and that's all they ever wanted and they're begging me to make more so you have to try this recipe again i'll move slow so you can take pictures of it if you'd like if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments and i will get back to you about that i'll answer anything you have Sorry about the background noise. I was watching TV when I was writing this recipe down. By now, I know it by heart. And I wanted to write it down for you guys. It's easier than just saying it so you have something to go off of. You know what I'm saying? If I'm sitting here talking to you about the recipe and telling you about it, then you're going to have to sit there and hurry up and write all fast. And it's just crazy that way. But yes, I will add more recipes, like my meatloaf recipes that my family loves so much. Um... But, guys, if you try this, please let me know how it turns out, what your thoughts of it were. But, like I said, that rice pan I used without the lid, it was it worked really good. It was phenomenal. It worked really good. I liked it. Okay, guys, thanks for listening, and um, let me know how you like it.